RuneScape is an MMORPG that takes place in the vast world of Gileanor during medieval times. To start, you create your character in the not-so-in-depth character creator, and are sent to a tutorial island to teach you the basics of the game, like combat or many of the other skills that are provided. After the tutorial, you are released into RuneScape to do as you please, like many other MMOs. Now the real question you may be asking, what are the goods and the bads? To start with the goods, the game has an enormous amount of content, and can be played for countless hours. Due to the holiday events, tasks, and much more that basically offers unlimited playtime. You can also play with your friends in nearly everything in game, from clans to fighting monsters or bosses. Jagex, who are the developers, are constantly releasing updates, and are letting people vote for what they want in the game for their future updates. RuneScape also has its own economy that can be affected by other players and what they buy, as well as updates to the game. The music of RuneScape is amazing, with over 900 tracks for you to choose from. It has incredible variety depending on what you're looking for. The quests in the game add story and explain the lore, if you're willing to delve deep into the dialogue. With over 200 quests to choose from, and even some taking several hours to complete, you'll have your hands full. Now with the bads. There is a lot of grinding to get the desired levels that are required for certain equipment. To get the easiest skill from level 1 to max at 1099 would take more than a week of playing and only leveling that skill. This leaves you with the feeling of the game getting very repetitive at times. I found myself taking large breaks from the game, some extending to over a couple of months because of the repetitiveness. The graphics of the game are also behind based on today's standards. Though Jagex are working on better graphics, it still doesn't compete to its competitors. RuneScape may be free to play, but only until a point, because being a free to play player limits what you can do. You can't use more than half of the skills or even partake in certain quests, areas, events, or even items in the game because they are locked away unless you pay a monthly fee. RuneScape is only for PC, but Jagex has said that it will be for mobile devices in the near future. They also plan on finishing and releasing new graphics for the game, and will no longer require the program Java to run. This game is for patient people who love to indulge in story and roleplay. For additional content, you'd have to pay a monthly membership fee. I recommend this game as I've been playing it for over 5 years and I've been getting back into it every time.